Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Comedy Bar and the Sitcom Show. Please welcome to the stage, Ryan and Jordan. Was anybody here for the uh, the pilot? Yeah. Cool. Cool. So this is a completely different show. We're uh, we're robots in space. Uh, we couldn't afford new costumes. So we're just gonna keep the old ones. Yeah. So we're gonna talk and look the same, but it's a totally different uh, mind trip. Um, so yeah, we're gonna do the basic kind of improv thing. We're gonna show you. A slide of has, ever, has anyone ever heard of the uh, the Rorschach ink block test? Yeah. yeah that thing that psychiatrists show you to see how crazy you are. We're gonna see how crazy you guys are. Um, I don't know. Is this thing not on? Maybe it's uh, maybe it's not on. Maybe it's uh, maybe it's, it's a learning curve, folks. It's the first <laughs> episode. Maybe it's uh, oh, I think I think okay. I see the outline of the projection screen. Oh, so this is the slide that you'll be seeing later in the show when we're not on stage. Um, being on stage now, uh, so I'm gonna turn that off so that uh, you guys don't see what that looks like. Um, because I think you, I got it. I yeah, if you see it backwards. Hey! Please, indulge me. What do you see? Needle. Breasts. A bat. <laughs> An angel. Pylon. Yeah, I heard, I heard beetle was the first one that I heard. Uh, so, uh, so thank you. That's the suggestion. And uh, so, ladies and gentlemen, Sitcom Show presents No One Is Trying To Kill You, Episode 1, Beetles and Bugs. terrorist attack, and then 30 years later there was. That's not, that's, that cannot be accurate, and also the therapy has not started yet, so you should keep your craziness to yourself. <laughs> 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 what do you want to talk about? Oh, I don't know. Um, do, you, do you follow up with um, sports? Uh, well, uh, I, I ran a mile once. That's not the sport. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm late. You actually are not late. It's oh, still early. I was three hours early. He was. It's crazy, Joseph. Do not use that word in here. We are trying to avoid that. It's 
counterproductive. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Dr. Hansberger. That's not crazy, Joseph. Did, did you think there would be sandwiches too? I thought there would be some sort of a snack. I just came from school. I thought I thought there'd be something. I thought there. Like what? Juice boxes and saltine crackers? Or? <laughs> saltine crackers is nice. It's I a like, nice yeah, snack. I like right? it's actually nice. Yeah, I, like <laughs> it's nice snack. I could, you know, probably talk to Buddy. I've got some pool. Yeah, talk to Buddy. Maybe we should get snacks here. Well, I mean, there's never don't, snacks. Don't hurt them. Oh no, I would not, you know, he's, he's non-violent. I would do things like uh, show him nice pictures and win his favor. He'd be like, look at this picture of a duck on the, the, the lake. <laughs> we get something crackers. Okay. <laughs> okay. 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 It could be. It could be a start. Okay. Or, or maybe juice boxes or, or, or bottles of water. Yeah, that'd be helpful. I'm really thirsty a lot of the time. Why is that? Are you like diabetic or? I'm a gym teacher. You know, I exert myself every day, five days a week. Oh, she probably watches sports. Yeah, I totally watch sports. What, what kind of sports do you like? Like mile run or? <laughs> <laughs> I ran a mile once. <laughs> he ran the mile, but did, I told him that. I can run miles around you guys. She's like multi-sport talented. It's true. It's true. Guys, sorry I'm late. The body, we can start like I yeah. I was hungry and I had to get a subway, so a little little way I apologize. Oh, oh. oh. Doctor Buddy eats, oh. stops for food. I came all the way from Clark and Dufferin downtown. Didn't stop for food because I didn't want to be late. But it's all right for Doctor Buddy, the delicate genius, to show up late and on a full tummy. But us, we sit here starving. We're just going to take that in and uh, let that sink for just a second. <laughs> Feel those emotions and just let that go. I think that's what we learned last session, letting things go. Oh, uh, I, I, uh, I spent uh, uh, $2 today. Good for you. Okay, a direction. All right, what did you spend your $2 on? Uh, well, actually, I, I, I had $2 and... It fell out of a hole in my pocket. That's not spending it, that's losing it, you stupid crazy. I mean, stupid, not psycho or crazy. Or crazy. <laughs> no, that's stupid. You should sew a hole, like you should sew your pants so your change doesn't fall out. Or practice this type of walk that prevents you from losing your change where you hold it up like this and you always walk kind of like this and you will never ever lose change or prophylactics or suckers or stamps I, or I think walking one foot from the other is just fine and he's got a whole mess don't worry about it i think walking normally and just keep your, your money in another pocket would be just like, try a fanny pack they're wicked i would not regret that i'm from the zag you're from the zag it's not from <coughs> that's where you're from uh, Sorry, I didn't know if I'm supposed to. Is this the right place? Oh, it is. It is. This is our new, our new um, person, special person. Come on in. Hi, Come on in. Uh, hi, buddy Patel. Hey, how's it going? Hey. Hi, I'm Duke. Hi. Hi, I'm Duke. 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 Duke Barrington. You guys are kick-ass. Um, actually, <laughs> you're all right, Duke Barrington. Thanks. Uh, yes, I'm. Actually, on the. Uh, oh the, wait, wait, wait. I thought we didn't have to put our heads up to talk anymore. Uh, it's only polite. It's, it's, it's just congruency. I just wanted to say that on the attendance, he's. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm being surrounded by hands. This is not right. I am feeling. He's like one jumping on the fence. Just one hand at a time. When, once his hand is done, we'll go to your hand. I promise. All right. I just wanted to say that on the. This is crazy. It is crazy. I just want to know it's crazy. It's totally crazy. It's not crazy. I think he wants to say I, something. Look, I just to say congratulations for coming here and finding the place. I we got your file from your previous. Uh, let's give him a round of applause for that. That's great. I got your file from your uh, your previous psychotherapist. Oh and yeah. It's quite interesting. So <laughs> it's what I find is the most interesting part. What What did you find? Is that his name is not Duke. It, uh, you're right. No, it it's, isn't. it's Clark oh, Wendell. Oh, yeah. I was that's what I was trying to bring up before the, Clark, the the crazy hands came. Clark Wendell. Yeah. This right. Look, yeah, yeah, it's weird. It's a typo, whatever. Um, here, my previous uh, doctor 
for this is my certificate of awesomeness. So just uh, <laughs> it says here that he's a pathological liar. <laughs> so not true. No, it's, it's, I can read. This is that you are not telling the truth. You've never given us certificates. Oh uh, yeah, I thought we were. Awesome. I wouldn't give you a certificate for insanity. Only for sanity, and we haven't quite made it there yet. Right. Next week. Uh, so, your name. Yeah. What about it? It's pretty kick-ass. Thanks. What's oh. your name? Chris McCutcheon. Good name. What's your name? No, Joseph. Good name. What's your name? Uh, no, I'm just stuck. I just. Yeah. Just... Good name. What's your name? <laughs> <laughs> well, my name? Yeah. My name is Dr. Ivan Nikolaj Ensberger. Oh. It just spreads from two. That's not that's not fake. Man. Okay, fine. I'm well, for being honest, it's a sucky name. <laughs> I was named after my grandmother. Where? <laughs> on my grandfather's side. Don't get violent. Just show him a picture of a duck. Ooh. Um, I do not have. Okay, close your eyes. Picture duck on beautiful serene lake. Yeah. All right, now that duck is wearing a tuxedo. <laughs> and that duck wants you to get the saltines and some juice boxes. <laughs> oh my god, Dr. Buddy, we could all use some saltines and juice boxes. I'm trying, I'm working on it, I'm working on it. It's good. It's next time, it's next good. time, I'll, I'll bring something next time. Do you feel better? Yeah, no. Do you want to buy us some saltines and some juice boxes? Look, guys, I gotta be honest with you. I don't even want that to be here. This is voluntary. That's also a pathological lie. Why do you lie? What is this problem that makes you feel that you must twist and bend and screw the, the mother truth? You're lying. <laughs> More than asking a question. <laughs> was I lying? You were just asking a statement. No, I was making statements. <laughs> Why do you lie? Why do you lie? Look, it's truth <laughs> to me. It's not, but that does not make it true. Like I say, I am the greatest man on earth and I am going to make love to every woman in Toronto right oh, now. That's nice. That's a lie. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. That's not the kind of. But I like to live in lies. Right. This is great. No, we don't want to live in lies. Let's get started. Why have I been telling the truth the entire time? This is stupid. Buddy, you could be astronaut. <laughs> Joseph, you could be cured. You could be a man. <laughs> hey, I am a woman. I thought she was a man. My name is Crystal. I'm a woman. I'm all woman. Okay, your name kind of sucks too, then. Listen, Clark Wendell, you had a good name up until you just insulted me. It was like Wendell Clark, but Clark Wendell, who was like the greatest. That insult was a pathological lie. <laughs> that he's twisting around on you. No, you can't twist things around on us. You are patient. You are not doctor. Well, we're gonna we're gonna take this a step further. Today is your last lie, okay? Because in this circle of trust. Circle of trust. It's circle of trust. I don't trust anyone. <laughs> <laughs> in you know, sort of a metaphor of a circle it's of trust. Like a sea of trust. It's sort of a semicircular trust. The trust like, gets broken right, right here. <laughs> like because a watermelon. It's, yeah, it's a watermelon of trust. It's all <laughs> trust. <laughs> <laughs> we can pretend to tell the truth, can't we? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. I had a great day at work today. I didn't eat a beetle today. <laughs> Very good, Joseph. That <laughs> was a lie. <laughs> you ate a beetle? Uh, no. He ate a beetle. Yes. Why? No. Why do you eat a beetle? Because he's a freak! Because I lost two dollars. <laughs> and so you logically lose two dollars, the next step was to eat a beetle. What? <laughs> good answer. Yeah. Don't encourage that. That's not... You know, Sorry, I'm just having difficulty figuring out where I fit in here. He's not having difficulty figuring out where you fit in here. I think I figured it out. You speak in negatives. Everything you say is the complete opposite of what you mean. Look, we worked very hard to develop a certain level of respect and trust in this psychotherapy. And I don't want you to motivate them with your lies. I mean, I've got this letter here. It's pretty detailed from your previous psychotherapist, Dr. St Stephanie Croucher. She loved me. She has mascara tears all over this letter. Yeah, I <laughs> up with her. 
I had to break out with her because it wasn't working out. You did it with your doctor? <coughs> did it with my doctor. That's we awesome. can't do that, can we? Yeah, it is awesome on the couch. You guys should do it with your doctor. So on page 13, she mentioned a restraining order. Uh, it, is, it is some love. Yeah. Yeah, so can you explain I heard, I heard her pretty bad. Right. So she's uh, uh, in the heart. In, in the, the heart. heart, in the heart. heart. No yeah. punch in the face. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Gentlemen, the sitcom show will be right back after these short messages from Ben Miner. Hello, everybody. How are we? These guys are so creative. I just tell dick jokes. I hope you like them. <laughs> <laughs> I used to be way fatter too, seriously? Fuck me. I was round like a Concord grape, only I had lots of chick friends and feelings, you know? I think the government could have stepped in. To step in for everything else, to step in for booze, cigarettes, drugs, gambling. How's gambling an addiction if you can turn pro at it? You can't do that with fucking heroin. <laughs> Flip it to TSN tonight, you won't see the World Series of Smack. Are you shooting up at the table? I think he's all in. <laughs> it doesn't work that way. People who run bother me. Fuck, I should exercise, but if you jog, you're an asshole. Like, get over yourself, you know? <laughs> Especially in the winter. My buddy jogs all winter long. I'm like, what are you doing? Don't you freeze? No, the running keeps me warm. My fat keeps me warm. I don't need to be shit. <laughs> I like my way way better. <laughs> and I'm short. I don't even own pants that flare. I bought pants that flared and then I got them hemmed. <laughs> I wound up with tapered pants. <laughs> pisses me off. I'm losing my hair. I'm fat and I'm short and I'm losing my hair. But I'm not lactose intolerant. I can eat all sorts of fucking cheese. Let's go. What's that cheese eating contest? I'll beat the shit out of it. <laughs> that works. Yeah, I've got, a, I've got my own apartment. I'm not a complete dirtbag now. I've got a one-bedroom apartment. I don't need somebody else to help me pay bills. I thought my mom would be happy to hear that. You know, it's a good thing to hear. But what do moms do when they hear anything? They find the negative so they can flip out and lose their shit, right? Just call her up. Hey, mom, get a one-bedroom. Don't need anybody. Mom, it's all good. What if you get sick? There'll be no one there to take care of you. Yeah, cause that's what roommates are known for, huh? <laughs> How much they care, huh? In fact, I remember last time I had the flu, I was living with the roommate at the time, and I was puking so violently I shit my pants. <laughs> and my roommate was there to take a picture and tag me on Facebook. How <laughs> was going to do that? No one. Yeah, it's a, I don't live in an apartment building. I live in a house that's converted to a bunch of apartments. My landlord wanted to put in an alarm system. I'm like, dude, I drink a lot. I'm like, I, putting the key in the hole is hard enough. Don't ask me to remember more numbers, you know? This is just no good for me. So I was like, here's what you do instead. Go down to the Salvation Army, grab a shitty old couch, and put it on the porch, okay? If a robber's sizing up the neighborhood and he sees this place sitting next to a house with a sticker on the window that says, by the way, you've got all sorts of important sweet-ass shit here we're protecting, which house is going to get robbed? Fucking couch porch or the one with the sticker? <laughs> <laughs> My girlfriend flips out because it's dirty. I'm like, no, no, no. Alarm system excuse, you see? Because my place is a sty. I can barely walk around in it with the lights on and I fucking live there. If I get broken into, no one's making it in past two feet without face planting. I, she's a vegetarian, my girlfriend, and I can deal with that. But if you're a vegan, you're a bigger asshole than joggers. And if they had the strength to fucking voice their displeasure right now, they'd do it, but they don't because they don't eat meat. <laughs> they bother me. It's just two arguments. Every vegan, they say the same thing. Do you know we drink? We're the only animals that drink the milk of another animal. <laughs> wow. No, I didn't know that. Thank you, vegan. <laughs> Do you know we're also the only animal to drink milk past infancy? <gasps> You're full of info. <laughs> Thank you, vegan. Here's one for you. Did you know we're also the only animals with a social infrastructure and a healthcare system? <laughs> oh my god, beat rules! What? <laughs> Enjoy the sitcom show, ladies and gentlemen. We now return to the sitcom show.
want you to embrace it. It's so holy. It's God's land right here, inside the church. The lights are bright. Well, for a church, we probably shouldn't be holding hands. You shouldn't be, probably. <laughs> <laughs> I a situation. I didn't want you to run away. This is where the truth is. Pseudo, sort of. In one dialect or religion or belief. But at least people don't lie here. It's, wow. <laughs> they say what's in their heart. Do you feel that? Yeah. Feel it. It's coming right in there, isn't it? Yeah. Coming down here a little bit. Yeah, okay, we really shouldn't do this <laughs> no, in church. <laughs> Look, Doc. I gotta confess something. I'm not a priest. <laughs> but you're welcome to. I don't really wear glasses. I know. <laughs> and I'm a pathological liar. Someone just took a really big first step. That's right, I'm talking to you. <laughs> that was you. Come on. Take that step with me. I mean, I say that I'm a spy. I'm not a spy. I know. I'm a sports agent. Boring sports agent. Look out for LeBron James. <laughs> Big parties. Whatever. I'm not a swinging bachelor either. Hold on, you're a sports agent? You work for LeBron James? Yeah. Are you lying? No. Here. It's an autograph picture on a button. That's, that's you and LeBron. Yeah. In front of a boat. Yeah, oh, that's my boat. Yeah. Is that St. Martin? Yeah, Mar that's St. Martin, yeah. You're a sports agent for LeBron James, and you're lying about... Yeah, yeah, I know. Getting late. Yeah, well, yeah, that's the other thing. I'm not a swinging bachelor, either. Well, what are you? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm married. I'm married to a... Um, some model. It's her right there. It's Gabriella. For real. For real, look at it. <laughs> she said she's hot. Yeah, that's the one without any clothes. Uh, <laughs> uh, can I just keep this for your files? No, no. I no. think that might be important. Just for I, your files. It's really <laughs> sentimental. Because, uh, you know, it's... I don't know. She's really... <laughs> wow. <laughs> why would you... Why am I showing people this? I'm kind of... <laughs> uh, why would you lie about that? That I would brag. I would be on the rooftop. I'd be in church. It's Telling Jesus, <laughs> LeBron James and a hot Shh. swimming chick. <laughs> I just, I don't know, I guess I'm kind of humble. Kind of humble. <laughs> it's really boring. It's not exciting like I want it to be. You know, I want to be like a video game designer or something. Video game designer? There's like a thousand video game designers. How many sport agents are there for LeBron James? One. Yeah, me. <laughs> <laughs> They have got all the crackers that you can eat here. It's great. <laughs> is, that from the, is that from the funeral service in the next room? I don't know. There was a whole plate, and people were crying. I don't... That's a few... Okay, well, come with us on this side. Oh, is this where the priest does his... Uh... Hello, I'm Jesus. Not Jesus. This, but we are in a we are in a place of truth, and I've just discovered some amazing truths by our fellow colleague here, Clark Wendell. Clark, you want to? I think it was Duke. It is. It's not. What were you going to say? Clark Wendell wanted to want to tell you a little bit of the truth. Watch out for him in the church. What do you want to tell me? <laughs> just, I think it's a good practice right here. You guys are queers. Um, <laughs> I'm circle of trust. Let's do that. Circle of Jeez. trust. Circle of trust. Let's feel that. My name is Clark Wendell. I'm a sports agent for LeBron James. I'm married to a super hot lingerie model. I have a boat. Uh, wow. Uh, my name is Joseph Arbuckle, and uh, uh, I didn't. I haven't slept for 48 hours, and I sleep with my cat. You are born. You are cool. Sorry, you are a little sweaty. It's odd. <laughs> I, this is great. This is a breakthrough. This is what I've been looking for. I can maybe can do a research paper. Bring my patients to church as a breakthrough moment, as a moment where they 
say their inner dark secrets and, and reveal themselves. Um, buddy, you've left me in the car now for a long time. I cannot stay in this building too much longer. It is against my religion. I mean, just... <laughs> it's a place for everyone. You don't have to... Come on, Jesus man. Jesus is going to see me and he's going to tell my goat and then my goat is going to be very cross with me and make me eat pickle jam. I am Jesus. <laughs> you have oh, to great. eat pickle jam. It's not the family coffee hamburger, Jesus. It is, um... It is sting. <laughs> I'm sorry? Sting? I don't yes, like I your music. Yeah. <laughs> Roxanne! You do not have to go for red light! <laughs> Something amazing happened. Clark Wendell... <coughs> that is great. Can we leave the church now? Well, I mean, I think it was because of the church he told the truth. It's because of the church? Yeah. What, what did they do to him? <laughs> did it like... Is it like sodium... The, the truth serum stuff? Or... Maybe. The circle of truth? Is or it? Rats? Is it? Maybe a little bit of both? Because mm -hmm. we were holding hands. And he felt something is inside Joseph, of him. Is it <laughs> Joseph, is it cracker on your face? Uh, oh yeah, they've got lots of crackers. Do you think that I could have some crackers? Uh, you, uh, you, you'll have to cry a lot, because uh, that's what I had to do to get them. <laughs> you <laughs> they're in this. <laughs> no no <laughs> crackers. There's, there's food in the funeral parlor, but... <laughs> What happened? Did you touch they, Jesus? Uh, they, they broke out uh, more food. There's party sandwiches in here, guys. It's the ones they cut the crust off of. There's like one of egg salad and tuna. Joseph, I don't know why you left. It's amazing. It's amazing. No, that's not really appropriate. I think we should stay on this side of the church because that's a funeral, okay? <laughs> that's not right. Ivan. <laughs> Well, I think this is a breakthrough. We hey, wait. I did not get food. Can I get food and then? Oh, thank you. Well, what's the next step? The truth, right here in church. Do we even need to go to therapy anymore? I do. Uh, <coughs> I, I, I don't. I just want to go back to work and not lose my job. They will not let me at the YNCA anymore. Uh, <laughs> I have to go. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty good. So we need therapy. Bad. <coughs> to the therapy session. Church. Uh, hello, my brothers. How are you? I'm Priest Christofferson. Oh, thank, thank you. I'm, uh, I'm Dr. <coughs> Benny Patel, and I just brought my uh, therapy session here to the church. Hello, I'm Steve. <laughs> hello, Sting, is it? Right. The priest, hello, fine sir, nice sweater vest. Looking very good on you today. Did someone die? What the fuck is going on here? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm a woman. You said brothers. That's we're all brothers here in God's house. Since we're all lying, I'm Duke. He's <laughs> Duke? Duke? I would never tell you the lie. I'm here bringing God's word of truth, love, and beauty. And you guys, are you here for the funeral or? Uh. Yeah. 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 It's really it's sad funeral, about Mrs. Right? Uh, fucking Brown. Sad. The kids are too. The house of Jesus Christ. You do not use the the, the F bomb. <laughs> <laughs> He's right. Here we only use nice, polite words and indoor voices. Indoor voices. Uh, indoor voices. And just, just we just stopped by the funeral just to sort of say, you know, had a little bit of a sandwich, <laughs> and but mostly to be in the house of God. And we're just really, and we had a we had a moment, we had a breakthrough, and and, and Clark Wendell's one of the coolest patients I've ever had, and I'm not gonna lose you, buddy. Testify. I'm not gonna lose you. That's what I love to hear. That's what I love to hear, son. What has happened to you? What what kind of breakthrough? Did, was it God? Yeah, I found God. Just... I'm gonna be a priest. <laughs> Another one, thank you. I'm gonna be the Pope. <laughs> I'm gonna be the Pope. Dreaming yeah, I'm gonna dream. be the Pope. Yeah. And so I Yeah, I'm gonna have so many nuns. <laughs> 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 doing my shit, I guess. <laughs> uh, I'm too short to donate sperm, too. I didn't say that. <laughs> uh, 
If you're under five foot ten, they say, sorry, loser, you've been discontinued. <laughs> Nobody wants your shit. <laughs> so yeah, and I got a freezer full of it. <laughs> you can still come over, but if you have a drink, avoid the foggy ice cubes. <laughs> Gross! They make everything salty. Uh, by the way, I don't want to be all anti-running. <laughs> Came pretty hard on the runners a while ago. It impresses me. It totally impresses me now. I used to watch like 100 meter dash when I was a kid. I'd be like, whatever, way to run. But now they've got a countdown at crosswalks. <laughs> <laughs> it takes me eight seconds just to cross the street. Those guys are wicked. They're really good at what they do. Uh, I'm a grown up. Look at me, fuck. I can't even have sex with the woman over five foot eight doggy style that I'm gonna get on my tippy toes first. <laughs> Does not line up. It's bullshit. I'm afraid of fold out couches. I gotta switch her the head and feet go because I'm not tall enough to anchor it in place. <laughs> Every time I drink too much, my buddy Andre's place, I crash it over and he wakes up the next morning, thinks I've gone home early. Oh fuck, I think he's gone. I'm in the couch! <laughs> <laughs> Give me a hand. It's <laughs> a good time. I, uh, I'm afraid of raccoons. One raccoon. <laughs> Never feel like a bigger pussy either when, when a raccoon calls your bluff, huh? <laughs> it always happens when you get home hammered. And the raccoon's sitting on your porch. Giving you the stink eye. <laughs> Daring you to go up. Right, and you're like, fuck you, raccoon. <laughs> I'm gonna cough and drag my foot. <laughs> and then you'll move, that's how this works. Okay? Then you cough and you drag your foot. Raccoon doesn't flinch, she's sitting on your couch just staring you down, right? <laughs> fuck you, raccoon. Cough again, drag my foot, raccoon doesn't move. <laughs> fuck this, I'm going through the window, I can't fight a raccoon. <laughs> I wanted to get rid of it, but I didn't want to hurt it, you know? It's, oh, whatever, we got shit in common. It stands up with the same height. It's got thumbs. I like to wear masks, you know? <laughs> we're buddies. So I asked my uncle, like, how can I get rid of this thing without, like, harming it or, you know, killing it? He's like, oh, you just need to buy some bear piss. <laughs> of course. Why didn't I think of that immediately? Why wasn't that my first thought? I should go buy some bear piss. It's obvious, isn't it? <laughs> That means it's someone's job to collect bear piss. <laughs> How shit are you at everything you've ever fucking done? How many times are you rejected from DeVry? How many times are you fired from fucking Burger King before you called up some asshole to ask you to get apply for the bear piss collection? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck me. I know if I was stuck doing that, I'd look for hibernating bears and put their paws in water. You know? <laughs> Save money. <laughs> but I got worried, like, how potent is bear piss? How much do, do I buy? How often do I buy it? <laughs> you know, I don't want to go all the time. I don't want to be walking down the street someday. Some guy's going to elbow his buddy say, Fuck, you see that little dude? He buys bear piss every other day. <laughs> I don't know what he does with it. <laughs> I don't want to be that guy. What do I do? Buy in bulk? <laughs> Keep in the fridge, freeze the rest of it? That's useless unless you want to fool your friends on a hot summer day. How come all your popsicles taste like blueberries and salmon? I don't know. <laughs> They're healthy. You should have a drink. The ice cubes are in the back. <laughs> gross. I don't want to be gross. I want to help the world. I heard there's a professor in Montreal, a scientist, that wants to bring back dinosaurs. I think that's awesome. Because that's what our greatest mind should be focused on right now, right? It's fucking dinosaurs. It's not like the economy shit, or there's people dying, or there's oil slicks or anything. We need some dinosaurs. Because <laughs> I'm pissed. I wake up every morning. First thing I do, I look outside my window. Guess what? No dinosaurs. <laughs> I'm losing it. I'm just saying, if you're going to bring them back, you got to bring them back to make the world a better place. You can't just bring them back because they're cool and rappers will most likely put them in their videos. You, know? you need a good reason. That's why I think if you're going to bring them back, don't fuck around. Bring back giant dinosaurs. Giant dinosaurs we can ride to and from, and that way we can take cars off the road. Yeah, see? I just saved the world. You're welcome. <laughs> okay, listen. 
we ride the dinosaurs until they die and then we bury them. And guess what? More fossil fuels. Cars come back on the road. <laughs> Problem solved. Enjoy the sitcom show, everybody. <laughs> You're not supposed to be speaking to her un unescorted. Hi, I'm just, uh, I'm just, I'm just, uh, I'm just, just don't pay much attention to him. He's not, he's not quite right. Buddy! Hi, I'm Dr. Meredith. Do you want to I'm a doctor. Uh, he's not a doctor. He's looking Sean Shirley and he's not quite right in the head. <laughs> okay, okay. Technically. Uh, I'm sorry, this is uh, Ricky Ranch. He's one of my patients. He's actually uh, one of his personalities, incredibly aggressive and right. he's too much of a sexual beast, actually. In, in oh, this, in this, you may actually be sweating right now. That's oh. okay, because I've seen him in action and it is scary shit. So, um, you should really cross your legs and just step back. Just step back. A he's highly potent. <laughs> well, Ricky, it was uh, very nice to meet you. Uh, Guys, Dr. Meredith, you are. Uh, yeah, Dr. Bunny Patel, nice to meet you. Bunny. Hello, colleague. Uh, this is. <laughs> nice to meet you. It's yes, right to meet you, too. Oh, Alike in the field. Uh, no, I'm Dr. I Ivan Osberger. Oh, Dr. Ivan. This is an more of an observer uh, oh, okay. than anything else. And, uh, Great display. Hey, Clark! How are you? Hey, it's very good to see you again. Very good to see you, too. Is he fixed? I only told you. Okay. Yeah, he's he's uh tell you he's not fixed. Me. Yeah, well he's actually done very well. We uh we had a breakthrough session. Yeah oh, on our Clark. first day in fact. That's great. The first yeah. day. That's uh, really great. How did it go? It went really good. We should talk about it over coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Are you telling the truth, Clark? He probably I? means tea. Yeah, tea. I'm doing really good now. Very good. Go ahead. You can you can even tell um, your doctor what you told me in church. I'm church. That's wow. right. I'm church. Yeah, I went to church. <laughs> um, I'm a sports agent for LeBron James. No fucking way. That's yeah. right. Holy shit. That's a real deal. I got a button. Saint Clark, Martin. Uh, boat. Pa, 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 what did we tell you about lying, Clark? That's a lie. That's a real deal. He's got a button. I see it. It's right here. Wow, this is really awkward. <laughs> it's, got a, it's, it's like a, it's a little hand LeBron, a boat. What's the fucking truth, man? What's the fucking truth? I did not get to see. Listen, listen. What's the fucking truth, man? Are you are you fucking? Do you know LeBron James? Can no. you give me a fucking autograph? No, no. My name is Clark Wendell. <clears throat> Wendell Clark? No, no. It's just Clark Wendell, and I. I live with my mom, and I collect figurines and action figures. And that's it. Oh, what a fucking joke. You lied in church? <laughs> Whatever, we all lied in church! I did not actually, oh no, I said there was a thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's not my church. I, maybe that's the way you've got to look at it, is you lie to some people, whereas to others you're telling the truth. Doctor, I think it's always good to tell the truth. There's never a time for a lie. Oh, really? What if you eat the last uh, Chips Ahoy cookie? What if you're selling drugs and you don't want anyone to know? What if, what you if you're home alone and your parents, somebody called and was a stranger and your mom's not home and they're like, are you alone now? <laughs> <laughs> I think that's what, um, Dr. Badi, can I speak for you uh, in a moment? Over here? I sure yes. Is he uh, having what is known as a, uh, a breakthrough? Maybe. I mean, I can't tell. I, I would think so. Maybe working with Scott Shirley, maybe through aggression and intimidation. You cannot smoke joints in there. You cannot <laughs> really blind it up. I'm <laughs> <laughs> no smoking in my office. I'm sorry, can you please put that out? I'm getting angry. Put it out. <laughs> no, well, maybe, maybe he. Maybe this is the clue right here. Church can't make him straight, but maybe the devil can. The devil being Ricky <laughs> Ron Shirley. Or marijuana. Or marijuana. Doctor, are you suggesting we 
smoke up in my office? This is a good idea. idea. <laughs> <laughs> if it means bringing someone's soul back and yeah. healing one person. Totally, we watch Lord of the Rings, it'll be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's what we need to do. Yes! <laughs> Maybe that's what we need to do! That is 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 what we need to do! Guys, in my office, I don't know if that's appropriate! This could be a paper. Do you understand? We could publish something. What kind of paper? Are you a rolling paper, paper, doctor? No, a pathological liar that we heal in just two sessions. With... with marijuana? It works in Amsterdam. <laughs> <laughs> it's very European. It's right, and so am I. We well, can see what it's done to him. Can we, can we? Let's do it. Let's, Let's just do what? this. Roll me, right, roll me a it. joint or whatever you think those things on my jigs are called. A cannon. <laughs> or one of those. Uh, I don't know how to use this. Uh, I know I have some interest. It might help the mood. Do you know, has, has Ricky Sean Shirley ever shown you how to roll joints before? Uh, well, I, uh, I, I, there was a homeless guy uh, that was uh, sleeping in the back of my cab when I, uh, when I, uh, when I was uh, living at the at Hyde Park for a while, uh, and he he did it for a while. So, okay. I, yes. give me some Ricky. <laughs> Just give me the other no. guy, the bad guy. Two no, guys, the bad guy. You're getting crazy no. for the Mary Lou. I'm telling you, I need the bad guy. Okay, you need this guy. Doctors, doctors, do we have enough marijuana to go around, or are we just gonna beat each other up all night? He <laughs> this marrow one is ripping his pie. <laughs> <laughs> you can roll it. I'll you. show you, you how it's done. <laughs> I, know, I only did this for patients. My, it's not for myself. This is... Pretend we have old glaucoma. <laughs> 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 Who wants the first? She be probably the patient. <laughs> of course, that's what I was thinking. Thank you, Arthur. Later. Remember, Clark, every puff is a puff of truth. Why are you ruining this for me? <laughs> <laughs> you have to swallow. No, actually, that will make you sick. Oh. <laughs> What's coming to your mind right now? All the times my mom told me not to smoke the marijuana. <laughs> <laughs> I can do it. I'll smoke it with you. I mean, this is it's for research. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what are you feeling right now? Are you feeling some of the truth? Come on, just let that sucker heal in. <laughs> I'm feeling a little lightheaded myself. Yeah. Oh my, but I think it's because of my preventilating. <laughs> okay, I'll, 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 I'll start. I'll give you a truth. All right, hit it, Doc. I hate being a doctor. I hate the clothes that I'm wearing. <laughs> I dye my hair blonde. <laughs> uh, I can't believe Clark is back here. I don't even want him as a patient anymore. I don't live with my mother. What? What? Wait, he's always lying. Why is this all of a sudden shocking? <laughs> Thanks, man. Who do you live with? I live by myself. All right, Clark. Where? When? How long? Fifteen years. Are you married? <sighs> No. Who's that woman in your wallet then? She's just from some magazine. <laughs> <laughs> this is a breakthrough, right? That's this right, is good. Of course, this is great, Clark. This is great. Okay, give us more, more, Clark. What, what do you do for a living? You know what? I'm kind of sick of this, guys. I've been lying to you. I just keep lying, and you keep believing me. <laughs> it's like, you haven't done anything to fix me. To be fair, I'm two people, so I can't remember what anybody said at any time. Hold on, haven't done anything to fix you? you haven't done we anything smoked to pot. Fix. Well, they smoked pot. I just watched. We've risked our medical career to try and fix you. Yes, Clark. I've right. taken you to church to try and fix you. Exactly. True. Clark, that's what we're trying to get out of you. They listen to Grateful Dead. <sighs> At what time? Yeah. I... <laughs> it's, 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 no, let's open the window in here. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.
Um, next week, we've got uh, Andrea Del Campo as a guest star and Tim Gilbert doing stand-up. If you've never heard of Tim Gilbert, he's in another little show that's coming up right about after us. Oh, shit. Called Parker and Seville. Stick around for yeah. that. For sure. And, uh, yeah, we'll be here next Monday. Uh, and we'll have a better grasp of the PowerPoint. <laughs> and it's going to kick some serious ass. But thanks for coming out tonight. You guys are awesome. Check us out on Facebook. Please. Woo!